Hello, I'm General Mike Garrett, Commanding General, United States Army Forces Command. I've asked Command Sergeant Major Kurt Cornelison to join me again so we can update you on the coronavirus pandemic. In the month of March, the ForceCom team came together to support our nation in the fight against the spread of COVID-19. Thousands of soldiers from active duty, Army National Guard, and Army Reserve responded from across the nation with vital support to state and local efforts. ForceCom will continue to support the COVID response for as long as we are needed. We're all in this together. Sir, I couldn't agree more. We need everyone to do their part to slow the spread of the virus. Continue to follow guidelines from the Centers for Disease Control, civic leaders, and your chain of command. The uncertainty and stress of this fight, coupled with isolation in our homes, can cause patients to wear thin. Now, more than ever, we need to take care of ourselves and our families. Although we have become experts at social distancing, now is not the time to socially disconnect. A phone call or video chat with friends and loved ones are great ways to feel less isolated. Sergeant Major is right. And even in this environment, we have to maintain and build readiness. We will do this through individual, team, and squad level training and equipment maintenance. We are working on ways to conduct collective training in the future and will continue to provide updated guidance as conditions evolve. Protecting our soldiers, civilians, and family members is vital to preserving readiness. Recent guidance on force protection measures has generated a number of questions and rumors. When it comes to protective face masks, everyone will wear cloth face coverings when they cannot maintain six feet of social distance. When in uniform, soldiers can wear the neck gaiter and other cloth items like bandanas or scarves as face masks, but the colors should conform to the uniform. Soldiers will not wear face masks that have printed wording, profanity, racist, demeaning or derogatory logos, script or images. Don't attempt to cut up Army combat uniforms to use a space mask. These have likely been treated with chemicals. We need leaders to approach this as a force protection issue. Use your best judgment. Protect the force, protect the mission. Another rumor that you may have heard is that the Army will adopt relaxed grooming standards. Let me assure you that this is just a rumor. Soldiers will continue to maintain grooming standards. We understand that this pandemic has been highly disruptive to you and your families. Stay engaged with your chain of command. Monitor the updated guidance and directives from the Army, and don't forget about the resources available to you and your families. We will come through this unprecedented time together and emerge stronger and more resilient than ever before. I have absolute confidence in the talented men and women of ForceCom as we work together to flatten the curve and kill the virus. Be safe, stay healthy, always ready.